In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the tapestry technique crochet. So here, this is a tapestry finished little mat. Uh, it's been mine for Valentine's. So it's a mug mat um, and basically in this tapestry, we've got the text, an image of a love heart, and then we've got little love hearts going around. So for doing the little love hearts is slightly different from doing the text um, writing. So I'm gonna go over that with you slightly so you understand how to do that. Also, the chart that I've got in front of me, so this chart is very different to what you would get on um, the image if you were to download the pattern. So the chart that you get on the pattern is a digital image. This one is just the one that I made up before it went on as an image. So basically when you start tapestry, you always start with the number one on the right hand side and you make your way to the left hand side. So once you get to the left hand side, then you'll chain one and turn your work and you'll carry on going back down and then chaining again, turning your work onto row three. So on this side, on the right hand side, this is going to be your odd numbers and on the left hand side is the even number rows. So each row, so one, two, three, four, and you're constantly working from right to left and then at left back to right and same going back again. So that's how you will keep working like that. In the meantime, you will be carrying your yarns, picking up your yarns <laughs> and things like that. So in this particular project, there is only two colours. Sometimes in tapestry, you can have as many colours as you like. That just depends on your experience and it depends on how complex the pattern is. This is a very... Um, I would say beginner friendly kind of pattern. I mean, it can be a little bit tricky when you get to where there's a love heart and then there's the text. So you might have to pick up and drop again and pick up again. And remember that's only gonna be a half stitch and that's a full stitch. So I'm gonna go over that with you very quickly. This pattern, I am using DK Cotton Yarn, which is a light three weight yarn. And I'm also using a three millimeter crochet hook. However, you can use whatever yarn and hook you prefer, depending on the project. If you are following my pattern, then obviously you'll be using um, similar cottons and of course a hook that suits you best. So to begin, when you start with tapestry, like always, you need to start by making the foundation. So to begin, make your slip knot and make your chain of desired length. If you're following my pattern, please do uh, make the desired chain length as it states in the pattern. This tutorial I have done a chain of 11 so then I need to now bring in my second colour in my case is red and when you want to introduce the colour you're just going to lay this colour at the back of your work going into the second chain from your hook holding that secondary colour at the back of your work and then go into the second chain and you want to go under the first chain and make sure you catch that second colour is sitting on top of your hook. Pull the yarn through and then pick up the yarn again and pull through two loops. So that is a single crochet and you're also trapping in the colour ready to start. So on the first row for this, it does start with the love hearts. So I'm going to show you how to do with the love hearts. And I'm just going to zoom you in. So now we're zoomed in and I can show you a bit closer. So what you want to do is insert your hook, drop your main colour and make sure that's more towards yourself. And then the other colour that you've got at the back, pick up and pull through. So now you've got two colours on your hook, so one yellow, one red, or whatever colours you're using. Drop the red, and then finish the colour in your main colour that you started with. So pull through two loops, and then go into the next chain. And make a single crochet, and finish in the single crochet as you normally would. So that there is the first little love heart. And then you would do the same again into the next chain, bringing your main colour to the front, picking up the secondary colour which is sitting at the back, 
two colours on the hook to wrap your secondary colour, pick up your main colour. Pick up and pull through two loops. And that's all there is to it when you're making the love heart. So then into the next chain and finish your single crochet as you normally would. And then we've now got two little love hearts. So I'll do that one more time. So insert your hook into the next chain, main colour to the front, pick up secondary colour from the back, pull through, two loops on the hook, two colours, drop your, your secondary, pick up the main and complete that stitch in the main colour. Going into the next chain and making sure you've complete that single crochet in the main colour. And that is very easy, uh, well when you get going with it it's very easy to do um, and this is a good practice of introduction to tapestry and it does leave these little cute love hearts as you're working along so I'm just going to finish these last two stitches in one solid colour and then I will chain one and turn my work when you turn your work, you will then need to carry the secondary colour across. And the reason that is because we are on the second row and on the even rows, believe it or not, the love hearts don't actually work. So going on into the first stitch and making a single crochet in every stitch across. Bearing in mind what, however many chains you've made, you will be one less chain because you skip the first chain from the beginning. So for example, I chained 11, I've now got 10 stitches. So just keep working your single crochet all the way across because when you come to the next row, well, the next row would be another row of love hearts but I'm going to move on to the lettering just to show you how to do the lettering because the lettering works slightly different than it does with the love hearts. It's very similar principle but at the same time it is slightly different. And sometimes you might have to try and find where your stitch is so you just have to be a bit mindful of where that next stitch could be because when you're crossing over colour it kind of sometimes hides that for you. So I'm just going into my last stitch, chain one and turn my work. So for the row, for example, I've now only got one row of love hearts, but if I wanted to uh, do another row of love hearts, I would carry on doing that again. But for the next row, I'm going to show you how to do the lettering well, the text. So when you are working in the text, again, you are going to need to carry across the secondary colour, so make sure that's over your hook before you begin. Make a full colour of a stitch. Onto the next stitch is going to not be completed in the main colour, so lift up through two loops on the hook of the same colour. So then you're going to drop your work, uh, drop your main colour, pick up the secondary colour finish that stitch in the secondary colour because the next stitch is going to be a text, part of the text for example. So then you would have two loops on your hook of the secondary colour so drop that again and then pick up the secondary colour, the main colour and finish that stitch into the main colour. Now depending on how many uh, reds or yellows or reds and black it states in the pattern you would always make sure you change your colour one stitch beforehand. So for example, on row five, it's two main colours and then it's going to be three red. So for instance, so it's two black, three red. So if I wanted to do two black, so one black for my second black, because my third one's going to be a red, I'm going to drop my main colour and pick up my secondary colour. Going into the next stitch with the red. And I would work one, two, 
and then on that third one I will then switch back to my main colour so drop the secondary colour and pick up the main colour to finish to finish that stitch off and then I would carry on again so I'm going to do that one more time on the next row to show you how you would do a love heart and a lettering on the same row because it can be a little bit complicated sometimes and another thing when you're working tapestry crochet always keep your yarns separated so they don't get tangled so chain one and turn your work again we're going to carry in the secondary colour so we're going to go one full colour then we're going to do a love heart so to do the love heart you would then have to insert your hook remember to drop your colour this is where things have to start moving around because you just want to make sure that the yarns aren't getting trapped pull through with the red drop the red switching colours again so remember to always keep switching your colours picking up your main colour to finish off your love heart next stitch is going to be a full yellow but the stitch after that is going to be a red so I would drop pick up with the red finish that stitch in the red to make a full red for example and see how easy it is to accidentally get your yarns caught that is not what you want So always remember that when you're using colour to move your yarns as you work, otherwise you will get into a bit of a mess. And that's all basically there is to tapestry single crochet. And as I said, this is a beginner friendly pattern. And I would just move my yarns around so they're not getting tangled every time when I do a switch just to ensure that there is no tangling happening. So once you are finished, you can then chain one and cut your work when you're ready, or obviously if you want to put border or whatever you want to do. So I'll turn it that way. That's how it looks on the main. So this side here, this is actually the wrong side. And this here is actually the right side. So that is it for today's tutorial. I hope that was helpful for you um, and I'll be back soon. Thank you so much. Bye.